What's going on guys? It's Tristan Lurch here with XLR Boost and Micro Boost, and I'm here to take you guys on a tour of our 27 XLRX today. So let's go check out the inside. All right, so we're out here on the ramp of our 27 XLRX. Um, some of the cool features I want to point out to you guys. First off, um, our ramp itself is going to be a weatherproof ramp. So uh, Lippert's, who manufactures our door, um, it, they took out anything that could uh, crack, mold, or swell in the door. Um, so if this ramp door does take on water, once you start to put it back in that up position, you'll see uh, it has some weep holes down at the bottom. Water will come out those weep holes. Um, don't freak out, think uh, something's wrong with your door. It's supposed to be like that. Um, so it doesn't hold any water in there. Um, also, we're gonna have our uh, patio system this year. Um, one of our great features here we love to talk about. Um, so one of the cool little things here that sometimes people get a little confused about is it doesn't reach all the way out. Um, so actually, there's just this little button here. You're gonna push right there and it's gonna fully extend and lock into place there. Um, it's got magnets to help stack inside itself. Um, so when it's folded up into your garage, it's actually gonna give you a little bit more room than the competitors. Um, so we'll go ahead and do this one as well. Push the button, slide it out, make sure it's locked into place. And then same with this, just lock it right in there. And you're all set. And it's got this uh, little safety pin if you wanna drop it in there, um, just so kids can't play with this. But great place to have your dogs, kids, um, or if it's a rainy morning or dew's on the ground, have a little bit of coffee, keep your feet wet, get you off the ground a little bit. Um, also out here, we're gonna have our uh, Furion uh, camera prep. So it's a backup camera prep um, right above the door here, uh, right above these beautiful LED blue lights that we use. Um, so it's just a prep system. So whatever camera you really wanted to put on aftermarket, it's pre-wired, um, nice and easy, just wire it right in and you'll be set up to go. Um, also, with every boost and micro boost, um, you're gonna get this screen. So it's just a magnetic screen here um, with these magnets that just clip on. Um, it's got, we got it pinned back right now, but it actually has a zipper right in the middle. So if you wanted to zip it up, keep the bugs out while keeping your ramp door down, uh, get some fresh air in there, you can uh, do that as well. But let's move on into the garage. So inside the 27 XLRX, um, some of the first things you'll see might be our 5,000 pound D-rings on the garage floor. Um, so we're gonna have these all the way throughout the unit. Um, so this unit has a 14 foot, five inch garage from the back there all the way up to here. So if you wanna pull your side by side all the way in, you could. Um, it's gonna give you 78 and a half inches from this uh, cabinet all the way to this uh, wall. So you're gonna have plenty of room in here um, we grew about a little bit this year, so it was a little smaller last year. Um, so if you have a bigger side-by-side, -side, we're trying to match and get you guys in with our units. Um, also back here in the garage, we have our sit and sleep and our sleep and store. So this is the sit and sleep. Um, it's a manual bed system. So you're gonna just take your metal skirting here, fold her down, and you're gonna wanna unhook these hooks right here to be able to let it slide to use these sliders. Make sure you grab the metal frame underneath, just slide it all the way out there, and then lock it back into place. And both of these will do that to meet in the middle here, so you have about a queen on the bottom. Um, nice and easy, you can fold them back up. Easy to slide in and out. Slide it in, lock it in, make yourself more room there. Um, they also fold up against the wall if you wanted to when you wanna pull your side by side in. Um, also, we're gonna have the sleep and store bed system. Um, another manual bed system we use here. Um, so I'll demo that. Nice, easy pull there. So it'll fall down into your bed system. Um, bed mode here, you got a nice mattress right there. Um, if you wanna just use it for storage, we've seen people use it for storage. Um, and then when you wanna get it out of the way, nice and easy here. And a nice, easy push locks it up into place. And it comes with these travel pins. So when you are traveling down the road, um, make sure you lock those traveling pins into place there. Um, also, you're gonna get these garage chairs. Um, so depending what the supply chain can get us, it's either gonna be these uh, beautiful Euro chairs um, or a barrel chair, um, but both are great chairs. Um, we got some XLR branding on there, so everybody knows if you wanna pull this out, throw it on your patio, you can, fully aware, throw it outside. Everybody knows you bought with the best. Um, also, for the 2023 model year, one cool thing we love to point out is our new wood grain um, and our floors. Um, if you notice, it's a lot lighter this year. Um, it's our Moab sand instead of our cobblestones, what we used in 2022. 
Um, also, we went with the glass upper cabinets this year, um, something we're real excited about. Let you see in your cupboards, makes it feel a little bit more homey, especially with the wood grain color, um, residential home feel. Plenty of storage in the 27 XLRX. Um, all your boosts and micro boosts, you can get this beautiful residential kitchen faucet there. Um, beautiful stainless steel bowl here. Um, big bowl, so farm style bowl there. Um, Furion oven. So one big thing, you probably heard it if you watched other videos, Furion, Furion, Furion. Um, at XLR, we buy most of our appliances from Furion. The reason for that is if you're out camping, something breaks down, you can just save the Furion support or the XLR support and just have those numbers. Um, some of our competitors will take different products from different uh, vendors, throw them in there so you have three to five different vendors support lines to call. But with us, you just got that Furion or just save our phone number and give us a call. But you got three burner top. Um, it's gonna turn red to show you that it's gonna be hot or if it's on. Uh, beautiful Furion microwave there. Um, the oven's gonna be 17 inches so you can fit a pizza in there. Um, put a turkey in there, it's coming up on Thanksgiving. Um, also, this is our Furion 10 cubic foot, 12 volt refrigerator. Um, so one cool thing about this refrigerator, since it is 12 volt, it's gonna run solely off of your batteries. Um, but also we're gonna throw a 200 watt solar panel on the roof of every boost and micro boost, which is gonna charge that battery. So it pretty much lets you use this uh, refrigerator basically for free. Um, it's got a bunch of different settings on it. One of the settings is off the grid mode. So at night, if you wanna turn it to off the grid mode, it's actually gonna turn the compressor all the way off. It's gonna act more as a cooler. So think of it like that when you're not opening and closing the door as much to let all that cool air out. Um, so you can turn it to off the grid mode, have the compressor turn all the way down, save a little bit of battery throughout the night, wake up in the morning, just come back, flip that back on, and she'll be turned back on and she'll be running. Um, but we love these refrigerators. We tested in our yard um, right when we started using the solar panels last year. Um, I believe it was two weeks. We had ice up in the ice box here, came back, opened and closed it to simulate like you're camping daily, came back in, uh, fridge was fully running just straight off that uh, solar panel and battery in our yard in August. So great little feature there. Um, also over here, you're gonna have your uh, TV display. So we don't put TVs in our boost and micro boost. We don't like to uh, compete with Walmart or Target. So most of the times you can just go uh, to one of those big super stores, find a cheaper TV, find a brand you like if you're a certain brand person. Um, figure out what exactly size you want and throw it up there. Um, it's nice and easy, it's just a backer plate here with all your plugs, cable, satellite, power hookups. Um, also, right here you're gonna see your beautiful 30 inch Furion fireplace. It's gonna be 5,000 BTUs of heat. Uh, it's got multiple colors. Uh, we got other than the blue today, just for the blue boost. Um, also, you're gonna have your Furion, I know I said it keeps saying Furion, but Furion radio. It's a two zone radio, so you can either play inside and outside at the same time. You can play just inside or just outside, depending on where you are, uh, who you're hosting, and what you wanna be doing. Also new for this year, um, this is gonna be in every boost and micro boost, so check your drawers um, or ask your dealer about it if it's 2023 model year. Um, when we get to the outside, we'll talk a little bit more about the caps, but this is a, TPS monitoring system, so tire pressure monitoring system. Um, it's gonna allow you to track up to 115 wheels off this one uh, controller. So this controller, you mount it in your truck. All our tires are banded uh, tire pressure monitoring systems to the wheel. It's gonna give you live tire pressure and live uh, temperature as well. So it's gonna help alleviate some of those blowouts that we've had in the past. And hopefully those are a thing of the past is what we're going for. Um, but yeah, it lets you put up to 115 tires. So if you wanna add your tow vehicle to it, you can. If you wanna add your toy, your side-by-side, -side, your bike, whatever you wanna add to it, you can add those on up to 115 tires, or, or I think it's up to four different campers if you wanted to. So if you got multiple campers, um, that's a great little feature we have here. Um, also, I just wanna talk about all the storage we have here. So we have overhead storage above the uh, refrigerator, above there, um, just lots of storage here. As you can see, cubby holes, made everywhere, storage, pots and pans, drawers, plenty of storage under your sink. Pretty much you can fit everything you need for camping. Um, if you wanna go out boondocking, this is the unit to do it. Um, one nice little thing right here is we kinda got like a little shoe kick off that I like to call it. So you come right inside your main door, you kick your shoes or boots off, you got a little st storage spot right there for them. Makes it nice and easy, they're out of the way so you're not tripping and falling all over them. But let's check out the bathroom over here. 
or actually before we get to the bathroom, I almost forgot, our uh, Furion ACs. So what we're gonna use in the Boosted Micro Boost standard is gonna be our 15,000 BTU uh, Furion AC. It's gonna be a ducted AC, so it's gonna run through your whole unit. Um, also with this AC, you're gonna have your traditional heat, cool, auto, but this is gonna have your dry mode. So if you're camping somewhere and you start to see uh, some beads start to gather on the wall or something like that, it's real humid, you can turn on that dry mode and the uh, AC will actually suck the moisture out of the air like a dehumidifier more um, and dehumidify that air, really help you out. So if you're somewhere camping, um, look into that if you're real somewhere humid. Um, or check out with some of our competitors, see if they have that mode as well. Coming into the bathroom, one of our favorite features is gonna be this Furion uh, tankless water heater. Um, it's gonna let you choose the exact temperature you want. So if you're a 112 degree kind of guy, when you jump in the shower, you set it to 112, it'll turn to 112. If you're a 124 degree person, you turn it to 124, jump in that shower within seconds, it'll be at that temperature. Um, it's got a safety feature. If the water does get too hot, it automatically shuts it off. Um, so pretty much as long as you have water or if you have fresh water, you're boondocking and you got some propane, um, this bad, bad boy will work um, instantly pretty much. It's an instant water, or hot water heater. Um, coming in here, you'll see you have plenty of room, especially for a travel trailer. Remember, we're in a travel trailer. Um, head height here, I know I'm not the tallest guy. I'm about five foot eight, five foot nine, but I put my arms all the way up before I reach that ceiling. Plenty of width in here. Um, you're gonna get a glass shower door as well. Three panel. Um, beautiful door, nice and easy, with a little latch while you're traveling for safety there. Um, you can be six foot five, if tall, or fit in here. Um, coming to our sinks, I said it in the kitchen, but I'm gonna say it again, stainless steel, everybody. Um, so we don't do any plastic bowls or anything like that. So stainless steel bowls in the kitchen, um, in your bathrooms, everywhere, in your XLR Boost and Micro Boost. And then everyone's gonna come with this beautiful medicine cabinet here um, with a mirror. Um, so you keep everything in there for medicine wise and shower stuff and then you're gonna get a second uh, entrance to your bedroom So you have the main entrance and your second entrance through here So if you want to sneak to your bedroom sneak to your bathroom uh, while the kids are in the back sleeping or something like that You can do it real easy, but I'll meet you guys in the bedroom to go over the next features All right, so now we're here in the bedroom um, some of the first things you might notice the giant bed in here um, So you get an RV queen bed plenty of room um, for two to cuddle up in here. You got nice overhead storage, um, TV prep again in your bedroom. So you mount your TV up in here, come watch a movie late at night while the kids are watching a movie out there. Um, perfect little spot. You're gonna have your blackout shades as well this year. Um, this is something we really are pumped about and excited. Um, it really helps with the heat and everything as well. Um, if it's hot, sunny, or out, pull those down. Um, keep the cool air in or if it's just real sunny and trying to sleep in or something like that had a late night Pull these bad boys down and you black out the room um, Also, you're gonna have this storage under the bed here um, Plenty of storage there little areas for uh, crates or shoes extra shoes you can see your pastors down there um, Also in this unit your generator prep is gonna be over here um, so if you are prepped for a generator and you wake up and it's real cold one morning, you want to start it up and fire it, nice, easy push to start right there. Um, so you don't really even have to get out of bed to push that. But you got two wardrobes for mom and dad here. Plenty of space in here um, to change, get ready for the day, keep all your clothes and everything, and really just enjoy your camping. Uh, before we go outside, though, I almost forgot to talk about our solar uh, controller here and our solar panel. So on top of every boost and micro boost, you're going to get a 200-watt solar panel uh, standard. So that's gonna be a standard and it's gonna be hooked up to this 30 amp controller here. So why we say 30 amp and why we kind of emphasize that. Um, so what the solar panel on top is gonna use roughly nine amps. So actually if you wanted, you could plug two more solar panels on top and plug them right into this controller without having to upgrade this controller in the long run. Um, so you could add solar if you want on your boost aftermarket without having to upgrade this uh, awesome controller. Also, this controller, you can change the battery type. Um, if you have lithium, glass mat, whatever battery you really have on this unit, you can change it um, and it's already preset for all that stuff. So that's another great feature here. So let's go to the outside now. All right, so here we are on the outside of the 27 XLRX. Um, so some of the first things you might see here, um, you're gonna have your propane tanks right here. You're gonna have two 20 gallon propane tanks. Um, you're gonna have your landing gear here. You're gonna have a 
nice light here. So if you're at night trying to back up or hook up to it nice and easy, you can turn this on, really give you some light behind uh, your truck there to see. Also up here, you're gonna see our battery. Um, our battery is more for on lot demos. So the reason we come, the reason this battery comes with your unit is so the dealer, you're at the dealership, they can just turn all the lights on, get the slide outs out and everything um, without having to pull around that big battery cable box that they have to carry around to show you a unit. Also is gonna be your battery disconnect here. So this is the heart and soul of your units, your 12 volt uh, source. So you're gonna wanna make sure that's on to charge your battery. Um, if you're in storage or something, not using your camper, make sure you turn it to the off mode so that carbon monoxide detector doesn't drain that battery down as well. Um, moving over to this side, you'll be able to see our giant pass throughs we have. Um, so this is a big old pass through here. Um, on this model though, it doesn't go all the way over. When we get to the other side, we'll show you why. But you're gonna get a table in here, uh, marine grade power cord for your unit and all your cranks for over overrides or anything like that so if there, you have uh, mechanical failure or electrical failure you can always override stuff um, moving on we're going to have our electric jacks here optioned on here um, little demo here so those will run all the way down run them back up um, those are the stabilizer unit um, not to pick up your unit at all, so those are just stabilizer jacks. Um, one other thing you'll see here is our beautiful gel coat fiberglass wall. So that's a standard at Boost this year. Um, it's a big, or poured into one big mold uh, gel coat, so it's gonna be a little bit thicker than most of our competitors. And what you can't see under this gel coat um, is gonna be our spray foam uh, insulation. So it's a two-part chemical compound. It's, uh, Got a little bit of sound deadening in there because it covers every crack, every crevice, so a little bit quieter. Um, it's eco-friendly, and it's got an R7 barrier in there. Um, so it's something that's gonna cover every crack, every crevice, um, compared to that traditional, you glue it on, you gotta roll on the old itchy insulation. Um, this is a nice and easy, quick spray foam insulation, so your walls and your roofs on your XLR Boost and Micro Boost this year are gonna be spray foamed. Um, also, Again, Furion, I know you guys are gonna be sick of that, but Furion uh, speaker here, marine grade speaker, so it can get wet, it's an outside speaker. Two on the inside, two on the outside to hook up to that radio, depending where you wanna play your music. Also, we got our Solarain uh, Lippert awning. So when you notice this awning, when it would come out, the lights, the blue LED lights are actually on the arm of the awning, so when they come out, the lights will be farther out, pulling the bugs away from you if they do attract bugs. Um, we go with the blue light not to, to help not attract as many bugs as the traditional white lights do when you're out camping. Um, moving on, we have our stable step. Um, so this is the second year with the stable step. We have the boost uh, branding in there, so everybody knows you bought from the best. Um, very sturdy, nice and sturdy again. Big grab handle to help you get in and out of your unit. Um, underneath, you have tabs really to help uh, extend the legs and everything like that. We've shown in some other units, it's a little tight here, so I don't think we can, but check out a couple of the other videos we have if you wanna see where those tabs are and everything like that. Um, moving over here, um, we have our stickers, our branding. The, you see the 27 XLRX floor plan name there. You're gonna see our spray foam uh, sticker there as well. Pretty much uh, tells you exactly what's on, what it does. Uh, one to three inches coverage, uh, sidewalls and roofs, again. Outdoor uh, TV, so that TV panel on the inside, you can just pop that backer right off, slide it right into there. And you're gonna have all your uh, satellite cable hookups, power hookups right there. Nice, easy location under your awning. So if you wanna watch a movie or sporting event at night or during the day, bring your TV out here and you got the ultimate tailgating experience. Um, going back here, what I talked about earlier, these caps for the tire pressure monitoring system. So check your XLR Boost and Micro Boost. And if you do have these caps, that means you're gonna have that uh, tire pressure monitoring system banded to that wheel. Um, but it's another great feature we're super pumped about, help uh, alleviate some of those blowouts that we've seen in the uh, past and make them a thing of the past. Um, also, you're gonna have the 30 gallon fuel cell here. Um, it's gonna be standard on your boost line. It's come with a handle um, and everything you really need to fill up your toys. Um, nice and easy, just pull up, hook it up. You got your on and off buttons here. It tells you how full it is. Um, you got your fill up right there. One cool thing is when you do go to turn it off, it's actually gonna suck all the gas that would be in this hose out and back into uh, your 30 gallon tanks to help alleviate spills and stuff like that, keep it a little cleaner and not as messy. Um, and then on the inside, you heard me probably talk about the 5,000 pound D-rings, standard at XLR Boost and Micro Boost. Um, 
But one thing, if you check out some of our competitors, especially in this price range, look at their tie downs. Some of them use this little dog leash that we use here for their tie downs for your toys, your bikes, and everything like that, where you're spending all that money. They're just using this 2,500, 1,500 pound D-ring, where we're using a 5,000 pound D-ring from XLR Boost and Micro Boost. Um, so check out if you got a pet, you can bring them with you. You can get under the unit, get some shade. You can get under your awning in a sunny day. Uh, plenty of room here uh, alleviates that stress of you bringing a little tie down for your dog or forgetting it and having to figure out where you're gonna hook the leash up to. Nice, easy leash latch. Um, you're gonna have two more uh, stabilizer jacks back here. Uh, we operated them up there, but nice and easy. Uh, smooth system there, just a push of a button. And that's gonna be an option on the boost line. Um, coming back to that ramp door, we kind of hit on earlier, but again, it's weatherproof ramp door. So when the ramp door starts to get folded up here, you would see the water would start to expel from the bottom and the weep holes that are designed to do that. And Lippert took out anything that cracks, mold, or swells in that ramp door. So it can get wet, it can withstand water, rain, snow, whatever you want to throw at it, go ahead. Um, let's move to the off door side now. Starting off, so all the boost, um, XLR boost is going to come with a ladder. Um, we want you guys to check out your uh, seals, either after a couple trips, change of seasons, temperature change sometimes is when they pull apart and everything like that. So definitely make sure you get the safety pins in there, crawl up there and check out that roof. Um, you're gonna have your power cord here. Um, since it's a travel trailer with just one AC, you're gonna have a 30 amp power cord for this unit. Um, black tank flush, so hook up your hose there, um, clean out that black tank, get everything off those sensors and ungunked, everything like that so it's working. You have your fresh water connect um, to fill up that fresh tank, your city water connect if you're hooked up uh, to city water just camping at a campground. You're going to have your cable, light, saddle, cable and satellite uh, hookups there as well. And then on the inside in the bathroom where we talked about that Furion uh, tankless wa hot water heater, so this is what it's going to look like on the outside. Um, this is that tankless water heater does 2.4 gallons per minute of hot water. So it's a great feature. It'll keep you hot and keep things going all day. Um, moving on, we're also going to have an uh, outdoor shower here. So if you're out riding all day, covered in mud, your dog's covered in mud, something like that, instead of going inside your unit, tracking all that mud in there, getting it all through your shower and everything like that, you can just take this, turn hot or cold, give your dog a bath, give yourself a bath, wash out all, all that mud before going in your unit to take that real shower at the end of your night. Um, so that's a great feature, hot and cold again. And then finally, the reason that uh, pass-through didn't go all the way through on this model is because this is your generator prepped area. So you could option in that NPS generator. So if you want to check out some of our other videos um, where we talk about that generator, go check those out. But this is where that generator prep will be. So it's already prepped. If you want to add on your own generator aftermarket, if you already have one, you can throw it on in there. It's prepped and everything like that. So that's another great feature we have at XLR Boost. Well guys, thanks for taking a tour of our 27 XLRX today. I'm Tristan Lurch with Forest River. Um, if you wanna see more of our awesome floor plans for the boost line, check out our website at forestriverinc.com boost. Thanks guys, happy camping.